What's up, guys? My name is Jared. I'm Aaron. And uh, this is the LAAV Club podcast. We are filmmakers living here in Hollywood, and we work on all kinds of different content, music videos, narrative stuff, commercial, social media. And we work on massive uh, live streams, like 40, 50-man crew live streams, uh, $10,000 a day. And uh, It's his favorite number. I mean, that's the low number. I know, but that's like your favorite thing to say. Just because, like, it, it, that's that's not even my favorite. Because twenty thousand dollars a day is more exciting to say than ten thousand dollars a day. <laughs> but anyway, we found that we have a lot of clients uh, that sometimes want something that's smaller and a lot more like scaled down, but still live. So yeah, uh, this is kind of uh, our solution for that. Um, it's a couple cameras. We're kind of we're live cutting it. I guess we could live stream it. I just yeah. don't know that anyone would want to watch right now, um, <laughs> since this is after work. Um, or maybe they would, but I would suggest, I don't know, do what you want, I guess. Yeah. So maybe we'll do a live one, an actual live one one day. Yeah. No, I'm sure we will. Maybe once people know about it, like yeah. the six or seven people yeah. that are going to tune in. Our seven fans. Yeah. When the seven fans. My mom will be one of those. Yeah. And maybe my dad. My mom, my parents would try to. <laughs> Just give up. No, maybe they wouldn't. They would just tell me they tried. What? We couldn't figure out. We were you busy using your Disney account. <laughs> <laughs> What's that show your dad likes that you were like watching at Christmas? And you're like, Dad, this doesn't, what? This can't happen. And you're like, Aaron, oh, shut um, up. <laughs> it was the Apple TV one. The, um, the one where they're in like the 70s and like the Russians got to the moon first for all mankind. Oh. I just didn't like the idea that like <laughs> we, we were sorry. space travel somehow was super easy like right after you got to the moon but everything else but, is still the 70s but everything else was still the 70s like they didn't have velcro yet or whatever yeah. like 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 anything yeah but they had like live television transmissions talking to the guy on the base like what are the russians over there up to and i'm like how can communication increase so much between here and yeah. the, houston and the moon but we haven't plugged we haven't but got a cell phone yeah we don't have a tesla yeah, yet yeah we don't have anything yeah like, like, I was like, I just couldn't get over it. <laughs> and your dad's just like... My dad's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I like this show. <laughs> anyway, sometimes clients want things that are less produced than a, you know, a $20,000 oh, a day. Yeah, that's where we're going with it. Yeah. Um, so this is our solution for yeah. that, basically. Yeah, and you know, some content doesn't need to have uh, 20 people on set. So maybe it's better. It's a little more casual. Yeah, a little more free flowing, yeah. a little easier, like a lot more intimate. And you can also, that's how you can create scalable content. This is our solution to create a scalable content. It's our mobile kind of light setup to, to do that. So, you know, like, yeah, what's something a, uh, a brand or a client could put out potentially every week? Yeah. Every two days, every three days, uh, whatever. There's a whole bunch of it, but like, you can't make, uh, you know, some of the things we do on a daily basis. I mean, I would love to know that company that could, but no, you have to contact. Could you imagine? You have to stack. You imagine what your marketing budget would be if everything you did was on the bigger scale. Yeah, I work. I work at Quest. Yeah, no, <laughs> not, that's not. Even for now. Amazon too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean? Like, like everything you did was every single day yeah. was a massive was level. Your Fifteen thousand dollars shoot. Yeah, that'd be that's like we need new daily content. If you have that kind of budget. I want to work. Only Amazon, only like Amazon could, could afford that, yeah, number one. Yeah, like a tech company, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, either Google, or. Google could do it, yeah. Either or. Anyway, um, so I think, like, so the main thing we're going to talk about today uh, is a show that we both work on, and actually Rob, our technical director, behind camera right now, rocking it, live switching. Uh, we usually introduce him earlier. Yeah, but, uh, we had to save him for this one, though, because this one, oh. th this is an episode oh, it was intentional. spawned entirely it was an by intentional him. admission. <laughs> So, oh, that's great. See what I did there? I, it's that's storytelling at its finest. Got um, to save the key characters for Act so Two. Get, yeah. Uh, so yeah, Rob, uh, one of the one of the creators of this show, um, and then I came on. That's actually how I met Rob, and uh, we it's a show where we interview um, artists, EDM artists, DJs in a golf cart yeah. while driving them from their uh, trailer. To the uh, stage. To the stage. It's pretty, I mean, it's such a weird, it's such a weird idea, but it's kind of rad. It's awesome. Yeah. It's super cool. And it's cool because like the questions aren't your regular like, how'd you get started in music? 
questions. It's always like, what's your favorite color or your favorite food or like. Well, they're always themed for the uh, yeah, show. Yeah, exactly. So yeah. like the Halloween one has a bunch of like scary kind of yeah. stuff or like but Halloween themed. Yeah. But yeah, so it's interesting. And like actually most of the, yeah, it's funny because a lot of the, uh, a lot of the acts get off and they're like. That was super fun. Yeah. <laughs> and there's like people that there's people who have come on that like just didn't seem like they were having fun, you know, like yeah. kind of seemed like they didn't enjoy it or were just kind of stiff or whatever. Just like a less, less free flow. Because some people come on like pretty lit. Yeah. And they're like, yeah, what are we doing? They're like, already, hey, they're already they're flowing. Already in a party mode, yeah, you know? exactly. And then yeah, other yeah. people are kind of reserved, like thinking about how they should answer a question and it's yeah. fine, you know. But uh, even those people have been like done like so many in a row. Like, we were like, we can't keep having the same person. Like, yeah. Like, there's a couple of people that were like, like, they've done like five in a row, and they're like, I love it. <laughs> they just love doing golf yeah, cart. Like, <laughs> All right. Like, cool. <laughs> like, That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's jump into that. I think, like, obviously, I've worked with you on one of them, but I think your process for, like, for how you, like, light the cart and how you work camera on the cart and, and like, the oh, event, yeah, the, yeah. the journey you took to get there was, like, a really crazy kind of, like, this is thing. A, let's put that loop on. Oh yeah, option command L, bro. Option. You don't even I need don't to do that. This. So yeah, this is the show, and you know you can see what's going on there. Fisher, he had a big song. That's a little out of focus. Yeah. You Damn. know, so that's what it is. It's just a learning process, yeah. like the show is. <laughs> I think the out of yeah the out of focus one I think was uh, <laughs> no I don't know that's EDC yeah it was. Uh, yeah, yeah. So you guys, you guys drive around in a golf cart. Rob's driving the golf cart. A lot of these are the older ones. Huh. Anyways, yeah. So, yeah, Rob's actually the driver, and he wrangles the talent, and he books the talent. and uh, Scheduling. Yeah, the scheduling, which it actually, it sounds like like people are like, oh, it's pretty, like, they, they don't understand that, like. Oh, no, that's crazy. It was crazy. And, and I was like, no, you don't understand, because, like, this guy says, like, hey, I can't make it at 810. Um, can I do uh, 824? And you're like. Uh, maybe hope, like now yeah. I have to look at the schedule because everything's in like basically like 15 minute blocks yeah so there's yeah. only like five minutes of like maybe 10 sometimes usually between like layovers or whatever yeah. and uh the logistics of just doing it yeah is like isn't easy kind of crazy yeah. yeah let alone the fact that we're like shooting in a golf cart like, yeah like while moving with audio uh I mean it's all different cameras but now it's pretty much yeah the camera's mounted to speed rail um GoPros on each side, and the what are we lighting it? Lighting it's like a, a two by two like light mat. Mat on the top. Uh, yeah, <clears throat> Velcro to the uh, ceiling. Yeah, and uh, we tried so many other ways to do that, but it just yeah, caused yeah. more rigging. So that's one thing. Yeah. How, what, what, when you when you your first golf cart episode that you that you shot, how what did you do for that one, and how'd that go? Oh, uh, well, <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna do it. Like I literally, I think I knew, found out the day before. And uh, we shot it on a C300 uh, Mark II. And uh, I think I had a monopod maybe, or maybe I just <laughs> handheld it and sat backwards out the thing. You just sat shooting yeah, back like, into the cart? But yeah, because I didn't really have any, like, time to figure anything out like it was just like yeah you're just, we're just doing I'll, that. I'll just hold this yeah, yeah. and so i was like ah oh, and like it was like like we'd go through a turn and like, this, <laughs> and like, like camera up in the air and uh i remember being like i don't like how, how are they gonna use this like <laughs> like i mean it's like obviously a lot of it was fine but then everyone's i was like because i hadn't even i don't even think i saw an actual edit of it yeah. So like I didn't even understand that it was jump cuts as much as it does and that like yeah. certain things if like you kind of miss it or something it's not the biggest deal like yeah, yeah. I didn't know it was like wasn't I don't know maybe a 10 minute straight interview. Yeah. Like you know that you, you didn't know they were just taking little pieces yeah, and yeah, jump cutting yeah. the funniest moments yeah, together. Yeah. yeah you're yeah. you're like this interview would never work because yeah. every Every well, two minutes, I this happens. Well, yeah, yeah, or we go by a stage and it's just so loud that we're like in a speaker, and I'm like, <laughs> and you're just like, yeah, like none of that's usable. Like yeah. it can't be. Uh -huh. But like, yeah, then we just don't use it. Exactly. Like that's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you just see 300 on a monopod and or hand holding it. Yeah, I don't even remember. Which didn't work. So then, no. so then, what was the next then evolution the next of thing? Was like I think a monopod, but like. Uh, armed kind of like you would rig it on a car oh because there's nowhere to mount the yeah. camera that's the problem so you're just stabilizing the yeah. arms to the monopod like, basically. i asked you know certain people like hey well, what do you have ideas and like they'd be like suction cup to the roof 
Okay, well the roof the roof's it, not flat. The roof's not smooth. It's yeah. uh, it has like it's like uh, like bumpy, yeah. but then it also has holes everywhere and lines going through it for like gutters and stuff. So like nothing would st- I mean then maybe you could find one one some carts might. You might be able to get it to work, but all the carts are different too. That's just unreliable. So though. yeah, if you just yeah. went with only suction cup, you'd be like, "Well, it didn't work today, so I guess we're back to hand holding." <laughs> yeah. Um so yeah, I was like I, I think I used a mon. I think I was like I, I just threw that out. I think it was a monopod. Like um, no, the second one I easy rigged it. I ran um, I ran a cable or a tie. Yeah, cable tie like for, like motorcycle like ratchet whatever over the ceiling and then I hooked <laughs> it. But I was using a, I was just shooting on a red. And so oh, it's, it's pretty heavy. So you went heavier. Yeah, so went from yeah. C three hundred to red. But it was way what? better because like now I was just kind of like shimming and only when it got real bad. But it was like. So it's still, <laughs> but it was funny because like it, it changed the like the fulcrum of the leverage. Yeah. So uh, like instead of it, like before my whole body would just move. That now the camera would move and I wouldn't because oh. the camera was on like a swing. Yeah. So like I had to like figure out how to like kind of compensate for it, and it was like a huge improvement. Yeah. And then I was like, what if I could like. Cause there's no what amount like and there's no like hood, yeah. You know that you would where you'd want to do it, or like a like, car mount. There's no car mount, yeah. To, like, like or do like that. obvious, spot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, uh, so it's like maybe I could use a monopod and like run arms like you would on a car, like if you had multiple suction cups or yeah. a clamp or a magnet or whatever. And so I was like, maybe I could do that. And so uh, <laughs> I did it, and like then I realized. Okay, well, there's two uh, leverage points. So I actually need, instead of three points of contact, I need like six. And then that was too much. Yeah. And then I was like, why don't I just hang it from the roof? I'm an idiot. And then, uh, so then I had to figure out how to do it because every one of them's different. Yeah. So for, I had to keep bringing all these different clamps to like like a super, cl- like super clamps, cartellinis, um, and uh, the U clamps, yeah. but like ver- variety of different ones and crimping and all this yeah. stuff. Yeah, because like if yeah. some some carts are like flat or have like some the, have la- a, the latch, yeah, like the some lip. have a gutter, yeah. some have like yeah. a bar, some have like yeah. all these things. So like even a Cardellini, like the, t- t- the Cardellini tends to be the, the move, Yeah, uh, tends to work the best, but like even that on some of them, it's like, it's, Side, it's this yeah. way because of the way the, the thing shaped. Yeah, so it's yeah. nothing to do with the clamp. It's like nothing will really work right. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we just have to like figure it out. And like I've used uh, some of them had um, like random extra pipe, and I was like, oh, and I just zip tied my speed rail to that oh. and got rid of the clamps. So it's only you have to adapt to each cart you yeah. got at each festival. Every, each, like yeah. every, every festival, it's like, well, this one yeah. has, yeah, yeah, they're all different. So when when did speed rail first come? When were you like? Was that like so you you came up with the speed rail idea from the ceil from the, the ceiling of the cart? Yeah. When you were like, hey, I can just mount, I can mount this, I can hang the camera down from speed rail from the top of the cart. That's yeah. like when that first kind of came about. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Basically, yeah. Well, I was like, how do I hang it? Because I was like, I don't, it didn't, I just couldn't. There's it's too hard to put that many points of contact. Exactly. Yeah. Like six or whatever on the monopod. And it yeah. was like, but it, that was still good. It still worked. It was just still bouncy and like yeah. just hitting the, you know, like yeah. this wasn't as smooth. And now it's like, I mean, this stuff is. Even when it's bouncy, it's not that bad, but you're in a cart. So it makes sense. So it's like kind of actually works. Yeah. No, well, we're bouncing with it for the most yeah, yeah, part. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know which season this is. So I couldn't tell you if that was, uh, it could have been very steady, hang, like hanging. Yeah. Holding it, or it could have been a very bumpy road. Three. Was that like the newest one? Season three. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So that was probably actually fully mounted. Oh, cool. So yeah. you worked out in Yeah. So what do you do for audio, though? Because uh, obviously, like, Katie, audio, has, Katie has a hand mic. mic. SM58. <laughs> I th- these things are awesome. Well, that solves that problem. Oh, I just realized that that dude has a, had a mic that didn't wasn't connected to anything, he had his own <laughs> mic with him. Uh, yeah, so we used to do wireless, but then uh, the wireless was so much harder yeah. because you had to get your frequencies cleared with the... Uh, oh, that seems like it'd be a yeah. fucking nightmare. Yeah, we, we, I mean, we had shoots we couldn't even do because of it with certain yeah, things, yeah, yeah. right? And like, just, in, especially in Vegas. Just being so at... Annoying. Yeah, exactly. Just being at a festival, I yeah. think, would fuck so up a lot of that. So it was like, that. what's easier? Like worrying about, oh, and switching batteries and stuff because those things go pretty quick. So it's like, what's easier? Like I could just run this cable and get... We're at a, we're at a show, you know? We're at a concert. Like... Things should be corded in. Yeah, at least. Yeah, we're on I mean, stage. I guess that would be if it was a rock show, but you know, I think we could. Stop. But that's that live, that live yeah, life, though. You I gotta, like it. You know, I like, yeah. I like the cord. So, um, Rob, are the DJs uh, generally? They're not. Their mics aren't corded, are they? No, no they're not. 
Oh, yeah. Wow. No, no, but I mean the DJs on stage when they have a mic. No, no, they're they're, they're, just, they're, they're wireless. wireless. Yeah. They're wireless. Yeah, because yeah, they're jumping around. I feel like on ha top. half the time yeah. when I'm at the festivals, I'm shooting the DJs, yeah, and I'm yeah. always and yeah, I always yeah. just have one. Yeah, 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 yeah. And like sparks and fire fly up. And yeah, I guess like I guess mic. rock and rollers don't really do the fist pump too often. But think about it, like Although like like ACDC. Kinda. But no, but think about it, because like like in hip hop, like like you've never seen Eminem with like a corded mic, right? Only rock only rock stars use corded mics because they can swing it around. Yeah, like Haley Williams for, or like the dude from the Who. Well, like you could take this mic and throw it into that wall. Yeah, and it'll put a hole in the wall. And you could pull it back out. And the mic will be fine. Yeah. But if you had a, a transmitter on it, that thing's probably broke. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, last thing then, the, one thing I really like. So right here, you have like the RGB tubes. Oh yeah, so yeah. We, so how? Wait, dude, explain lighting though, because I yeah. think the way you lit this is really interesting. Well, the <clears throat> key is just a two by two, a two by two light mat. Um, yeah, just Velcro to the ceiling. I, yeah, I think we already talked about that. Yeah, and uh, but you use, you use like Velcro, like sticky Velcro. Or oh like, yeah, yeah, just like double sided glue, like the one side. Oh, glue. like the strips. Yeah, that's I right. Use, I forgot about that. I just yeah, use yeah, the yeah. industrial stuff. Yeah, and it's like more than enough for the three days that the long. I mean, we do it, and it's so simple because um, you can just you just basically yeah, stick it to the roof. Literally, it's, just yeah. stick it to the roof. That's, it's like the perfect. perfect solution because I've tried other stuff, and then everything involved again more rigging and like more pieces and this and that. Yeah, and then the two by two with some diff on it. Like, that's, like, a really nice beauty light. And then I actually do a Shane Hurlburt move where I curve it. Curve it, yeah. <laughs> so I curve it. That, just that in, little bit. But it helps a little bit. It does. That's like, a good I, little trick yeah, when, you, yeah. when you just have a little bend to it yeah. it throws the light like, yeah, a little it's, more. Like, yeah, yeah. And it's, like, you know, it's kind of perfect. And it also kind of is nice, too, because it kind of flags the uh, the uh, lens more, too. Yeah. But actually with, that, with the new little matte box, I don't have to worry about the lens flare as much. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so then that's on the top, and then these ones are these are digital Sputnik tubes, um, the RGBs in the back, and I believe there's one across the top too. It's just not in the shot, and then there was one on the front. Uh, those really, were awesome. They're really ravey, like it's perfect for yeah, a rave, yeah. like and that I, RGB I like that look. It's like there's different colors on the tubes at the same time. But what's the coolest part is the uh, edge lights from all from the tubes. Yeah. So yeah, we use those. I love those. Um, and they lasted, my biggest fear was like we'd run out of battery. Yeah. So Jason was helping with this and he found the dude, like his buddy was working on something and uh, they let us use one of their outlets. So we just ran a cord and then anytime we had like more than 20 minutes, I'd plug them in. Put them on charge. And then by the la third day we realized like, oh, they might, like, they, they might be able to just do it the whole night. All day. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but this is a long shoot for, like our normal ones aren't this long. Yeah. This one's like nine hours straight. E EDC is like pretty yeah. ridiculous, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like sun up kind of stuff. Yeah. But that's, David Lee Roth. He's got his own mic. That's how, that's, that's, that's different audio right there. Uh, I was wearing my Akubra behind the camera and he actually talked about it. I need to go <laughs> find that clip. He was like, he's like, I love these kind of places. He's like, cause you get every kind of person. You get this person, this guy in his hat <laughs> like, or something like that. He's like, you get this is over here. And I was like, I was like, yeah, David, David Lee Roth. Roth. <laughs> I was like, yeah. Did you feel special? Just like, and then we have a we have a we have a good picture. Uh, me, Rob, Katie, and David Lee Roth. Oh yeah. And we still haven't got I still haven't gotten it off the hard drive, but I've seen it at the at the uh, at the office. Like you go on to, the hard yeah, drive. yeah. You need to go like just like, talk to Patrick. Yeah. Be like, dude, I need that. Send me that yeah, still. Yeah. I need that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so those RGB tubes, and now we use uh, we switched to Nanlite tubes. Oh okay. Um, that's the ones I use with you. We yeah, use the Nanlite yeah, tubes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Those the, the Nanlites are just a little quicker. Like yeah, they just the Sputniks take more like setup time. Yeah, they're 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 like a lot like nicer yeah. in almost every way. I think the Nanlite might be a little more output. I don't know. Yeah, but it's pretty similar. But you could do way more with the Sputniks. But it's just like you have to like use an app and like kind of program the colors and like get more involved yeah. and sync a wireless signal, which is great to be able to do it. But like. Some of this stuff is like so fast that it's like oh, yeah. if I I can't if I can't have time because I'm doing six other things too. It's easier to be able to just turn it on, yeah. turn on RGB like, setting, yeah. and then yeah, like if you were like a lighting yeah. tech or something at uh or like you if know. you had a guy to do that, that'd yeah. be nice. But yeah. if, if you're doing everything, yeah, you don't have time for that. Yeah, yeah it's like uh, I mean, there's definitely times we've shot them where uh, 
like one of the lights isn't on or one of the GoPros isn't on or like, yeah. and it's like, well, I hit it or I yeah. double tapped it. And, and it's like, and your BNC cams are just GoPros, but they're more kind yeah. of backup because it's a jump cutty show. So yeah. Kinda, I mean, they're like, they're not in this at all. I don't think, but like, yeah, it's just a different angle. Just to just a, some, a yeah, pop, yeah. something to cut, something to do different. I mean, it doesn't, it's not really necessary, but yeah, for sure. It's kind of cool. The B-roll stuff is cooler. That's the stuff you helped with, but yeah, B-roll you know. for this is a lot of fun, actually. I, I, I like doing yeah. B-roll for golf cart. Yeah, but it's a different kind of... It's just beauty. It's like you have to think of it differently. Well, it's kind of... I feel like it's not beauty because beauty is like when you're shooting the actual festival when well, you're getting like the headliners yeah, and like doing the, that. Yeah, but in the way you approach the B-roll for this, it's It's not, a different... Yeah. Yeah. You got to think of things that are like usable as cutaways, I feel like, but that don't actually feature the interview itself because then you have would have to sync that into the interview which yeah. would just take forever and like yeah they uh, i just thought of this that the best way to think about it is like you have to shoot b-roll and the cart is a character yeah like the cart is the character but you have to try to avoid if you can the person in it that's what i'm saying which is like the opposite of way your brain thinks because your da- brain would think like famous dj steve aoki like let's get, a get shot b-roll of yeah him. no no but it's like almost worthless it's absolutely worthless yeah. because if when, here's the thing that makes it i think the most worthless is that even if you had the greatest b-roll shot of of david yeah. lee roth in yeah. in the thing talking you can't use that because unless it's David Lee Roth saying si- those exact words si- yeah. at that exact and, time, and the editor doesn't have time to go through all your B-roll clips and yeah. sync each little clip to that point. In, like, yeah, there's yeah, not yeah. that's never gonna happen. Yeah, so, like, if you could just get beauty, stuff yeah, if you like, could, like tires, the stage, stage yeah. like the drive over shot. Oh, that was my shot when we ran over. So we ran, we ran over the the, the GoPro with uh, yeah. with the golf cart. I, want to point out that's that's my that's my i wanted to do it with the real camera <laughs> that's a bad idea it's a horrible idea it would clear it didn't we measure it it was pretty it was gonna clear it this dude wanted this dude wanted to roll run over a camera like an actual camera three thousand dollar camera and lens with a golf cart and i was like no we'll just use a gopro and he's like no no we'll i don't even the, know what camera let's that use was. the real camera it was probably a dslr it would have yeah, fit underneath it's like a gh5 yeah yeah then it would totally would have cleared that's a horrible idea also, I like, how are you going to prop it? How are you going to? It was a co- great idea. No, because you have to point My the lens wallet? up. If that's you, you have to point it up a lot. It has to be pointed up like Japanese that much. Japanese technology. Where is my wallet? Oh no, I lost it. That's my, that's our Japanese that's technology. Right. I use the Comde Garcon wallet, and it's at just the right angle for those low angle shots. I have a question for you. Did you ever get your ID back after you lost it in San Francisco? Did you ever get a no? New, did you ever get I a still new? Still haven't gone. Do so you have no ID still? No, I have a state ID and a passport. I don't have a driver's license right now. <laughs> it's, it's been like a month. <laughs> no, it's been more busy. than a month. I've been busy. I still haven't got paid yet for that job, so, you know. Oh, yeah, me neither. Let's get I, on that. I emailed them yesterday. I didn't get anything. I didn't hear anything. I'll hit them. Sorry, I emailed them Tuesday, the day before yesterday. Ugh. Well, yeah. Let's do it. Let's, let's email them tomorrow morning. Yeah. Yeah. All right, yeah. This little nugget of business. <laughs> how uh, effective we are we should probably end this yeah we're at uh 23 minutes actually but it's not bad for what we what we usually do what's our goal 20 what would you guys like the goal to be and yeah. i say you guys i don't know who's watching comment below uh, swipe up and comment below oh yeah we should encourage people to engage <laughs> yeah like with the sneaky stuff where it's like double tap the heart or what's the one that if you dislike triple tap or something yeah i hear people say it double tap like, if you dislike like, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> Was That's it? genius, because you know 10% of the population did. I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you watching You know it? they got 10% more likes, because some idiot was like, oh, shit. Like, it, the- <laughs> it's so funny, because like some people you know watch stuff of like people they don't like. Yeah, and it's like why don't you why? just not? Why make your, why make your life worse? Dude, there's, there's some uh, reviews of the X-T4. Yeah. And I was like, oh, because I have my X-T3. And I was like, maybe I, I want to keep that and get this. And like, I was like, maybe I'll get those instead of Canons or whatever, right? Yeah. And I was like trying to decide like what system. Because um, that camera is awesome. The Fuji. Uh, yeah, yeah, I love that it's camera. It's so good. But um, Especially for travel. That's a yeah, great travel uh, for camera. For travel. As like hybrid wise, I literally yeah. text my friend once like yesterday or the day before or whatever. When, when I like digested all the information and I was like, yeah, so like. If you still have Fuji stuff, like the X-T4 is the best hybrid camera. Yeah. Like, like for stills and well, video and trout. Yeah. The Monstro is the best hybrid camera. <laughs> the red Monstro. Yeah. But it's 8K full frame and a little different price range. Yeah. So, a little different yeah. price range. But the full frame and the 8K, uh, 
A lot of the stills in the slideshow are actually from that. Yeah. Or some of them, not all of them, not many, but there's a few. Some, yeah. There's no. definitely a few um, just pulled straight from video. But, uh, Which is super cool. Yeah, but uh, I don't remember what I was talking about. Just that the, the Fuji is the best oh, like hybrid travel yeah, camera. Yeah, that's the like. best camera. But so the, oh, we were talking about reviews or like stuff, but this one dude talks so slow and like I can't make it through. So I'm just like, I just stop watching. Just hit the speed button on YouTube. Just speed up to like 2x. No, he just talks overly, talks about everything. He's like, oh. and I thought that this camera would be the one to <laughs> replace my old camera. <laughs> and I'm like, what? what, what? <laughs> what what what's going on? Like it's so good. It drive me. It like drove me crazy. And then I was like, oh, I could just stop watching this. Yeah. I clearly don't want to listen to yeah, what, yeah. anything he has this to is, say. But this is making my life worse. I'm gonna not yeah. engage with this. Well, anymore. most of the, most of the reviews were like, uh, f- I don't know, five minutes, like you know, six yeah, minutes, yeah. ten minutes, eleven minutes. His was like twenty four. <laughs> just and I was like, how are you just because of twenty four minutes? And I was like, I don't even know if he has it because he hadn't. You know, because some people just do reviews on cameras they don't have, like haven't used, yeah. and they're just like, let me read the spec list. And you're like, what? I could have done that. Yeah, like, why are we talking about? I mean, it's it's cool if you have an insight or it's speculation or something. I guess you know, like that's interesting. Yeah. But like, if you're just like, yeah, so I hope that new like whatever is awesome. I'm like, I no, I don't care at all. Yeah. Until like it, like I can use it. Yeah. All right, cool. So I think that ends this episode. Uh, let's take our, let's Rob will take us out. All right, Rob, take us out.